Hey guys, it's been a while since I've made a video. Well, not that long. It's been like two weeks, I think. Um, so I just kind of wanted to make a little update on... I'm trying to think what has happened in the past two weeks. Not a lot. I've had chemo. Um, my chemo seems to be doing okay. I don't have a lot of side effects on this one, which I'm very grateful for. And, um, my CA-125 seems to be, it's kind of up and down, but it's mostly down. Uh, it's lower than it has been. So I'm grateful for that. It means the chemo is probably working, so that's good. Today I visited the place my new doctor is going to be my new general practitioner because uh, in July I turned 26 on July 2nd and that means I age off of my parents' private insurance and so I will be going on like government insurance type stuff. I don't know. But... It makes me anxious. There's a lot of details to work out and stuff. A lot of unknowns at this point. But today we went and met with someone there. And we're going to get all my records transferred and all that stuff. So we'll be working on that for the next while. I'm really scared I'm like going to end up without medications I need. Or I'm going to end up without seeing doctors I need or not getting the best care and I guess that just comes with the territory I mean because you don't know and healthcare in this country isn't perfect obviously so it's it's kind of just crappy <laughs> but uh You'll notice my hair looks kind of dumb. <laughs> it is, there is nothing I can do with it at this length. Like you try to brush it or comb it and it just doesn't. It doesn't do it. But it is growing back. It's not coming out on this chemo, which is good, I guess. I'm also getting like hair back on my legs and stuff, which is less pleasant but you know I'm hoping to get like noticeable eyebrows soon like I have a few hairs maybe that you can see I don't know and I think I have some eyelashes maybe maybe a few um but I'm hoping to get like real noticeable eyebrows because I think that's why my face looks so weird that and it is super fat from, well, I'm fat, so my face is going to be fat. But also the steroids make it puffy, I think. And I don't need any more puffiness uh, in my face because it looks weird. My face just looks weird. Oh, and I don't know if I was wearing my glasses in my last video, but the reason I'm not wearing my glasses is because... um. I used to always wear contacts, and then I went on Doxil, and I wasn't able to wear my contacts anymore. You might be able to go back in previous videos and see that progression, because I know I've been making videos for a while. But I went on Doxil, and it really messed with my eyes, so I had to wear my glasses all the time. But, uh... I tried putting in my contacts the other day because I wanted to go swimming because my dad finally has our above ground pool set up for us to swim this summer, which is nice. Um, I tried putting in my contacts and I was able to wear them for, I've been wearing them for days now. I wear them and sleep in them, which probably isn't the best, but my eye doctor also told me I could do it. So... Uh, yeah, I've been wearing them for a few days now, and they haven't bothered me at all. But, anyway. So, let me think if there's anything. Oh. 
I bought this lovely journal because I wanted to get back into writing poetry and I wanted to hand write it and have some place to put it so I'm like maybe if I buy a nice journal I'll do something with it but alas it is blank inside because I can't think of anything to write and I don't know why I thought having a journal would change that because I didn't feel like I had anything to write before but now I always just I think of things and then I'm like nope that's that's dumb I try to rhyme things in my head because I used to write a lot of rhyming poetry but it all just sounds stupid <laughs> um hopefully maybe I'll get past that and I'll be able to write something even if it is stupid because I wrote a lot of stupid stuff in high school and I still have my journal full of my poetry and so I don't know if I could maybe someday find something that is not so bad that I could read it on here but I mean it's pretty dumb stuff and that didn't bother me in high school but for some reason now it's just I don't know so yeah and I also bought this a couple weeks ago it's a cute planner for August um I have a thing about planners like you'll go back I think I've done a flip through of my planner before my disc bound planner um, but I decided to go with something smaller because I haven't been as obsessed with planning and so I still have so much planner stuff it is unreal but I decided that meant I didn't need to buy more planner stuff <laughs> Maybe I could just use something small and cheap and cute. It is a cute, very cute planner, I think. Like, I'll maybe do a flip through when I start using it, but it's got stickers in the front and a little coloring page. And you know, like little different pages for the start of the month and stuff like that. I'll give a closer look when I start using it but it'll it'll fit in my bag easier too so oh that's another thing I'm excited about I just ordered a um Vera Bradley sling backpack because I don't have any bags big enough to fit my iPad um I will probably do a video on what I take to chemo or what's in my bag once I get it because I'm very excited to get it and put my stuff in it I'm just I'm a bag person I like purses and bags I like to put stuff in them and organize them it's like one of the only places I can be organized because my room is an utter mess you can see the art on my wall over here that I tried to put up there it's just utterly chaotic but with bags I never just like throw stuff in there I always put stuff in like the same place and I can always find everything in my bags and I like that but anyway okay I guess this has been long enough so I hope you're all doing well and I'll speak to you soon love you all bye